hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here i thought that we were done with web uis for running large language models locally here i present you binu which is a new web ui for running large language models locally and private and offline once you get them downloaded this is an all-in-one web ui which you can install very easily on various flavors of linux and windows mac os i don't really know if you can do that or not but it's a very early project so might be down the road you might be able to get it installed on the mac os another fun fact is that binu is a word from the um, Brittany region of north west france it refers to a traditional breton bagpipe instrument similar to the scottish bagpipe the binu is an integral part of Breton culture and is often played during traditional dances and celebrations. So pretty interesting name for um, a project and good to know more about it. The binu is a self-hosted web UI for several kinds of generative AI uh, tools. You can generate multimedia content with AI and you can use a chatbot on your own computer even without dedicated GPU and starting from 8 GB of RAM. It works on CPU, of course, as long as the model is small enough to run on CPU, you can run it on your CPU too. It can work offline once you deploy and download your models. So in this video, we are going to install it and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to run um, or rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of uh, GPUs. There are a lot of other features of this um, Binu. For example, uh, the installation is quite simple and we will see it shortly. It's quite user friendly. Everything you need uh, it to run comes automatically. This video, I'll be installing it in Linux, but I will make another video where I'll show you how to do it in Windows. Also, it provides you web UI in English, French, Chinese. It's, it's an easy management through a control plan directly inside a web UI. There are a lot of other features which you can check out and primarily it is Gradio based. Okay, so that said and done. This is my Ubuntu system where I'm going to install it. And this is my GPU card where I'm running NVIDIA RTX A6 thousand with 48 gb of vram courtesy masked compute let me clear the screen next up let me create a conda environment to keep everything separate i'm just calling it Benny here let's wait for it to get activated and my conda environment is activated now in order to download and install this software Benio, all you need to do is to run this command and you will get it from their github repo and i will drop the link to it in video's description so let me run it let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time and took a fair bit of time around five minutes but binu is installed as you can see and now it is telling you to press enter to exit so i've just pressed enter and then we just need to go into binu directory which is here and then we need to launch it with um, web UI dot sh. Let me run it. Let's wait for it to get launched. And you can see that now it is running um, at this location. So let me access it on with the dark theme which looks better at port 7860 in my local browser this is my local browser let me launch it here i'll just say advanced and then i'm just going to accept the risk and continue let's wait for it to get launched and then you can see that our binu is now installed and running on our local system in order to use Binu, all you need to do is to, for example, if you want to do the text generation with it, click on settings here, because first we need to download the model. Now in the model section in the left, you could either click on drop down and select any model from here, or you could just simply 
type your or paste your github uh, hugging face repo id here like i just did and then you can just grab it from hugging face just i just copied it and then pasted it here as you can see and then you can set up quantization level if you like you can go with max tokens as how many output you want to generate and there are a lot of other hyper parameters like temperature and all that stuff which you can set but i think i'm not going to do that and then you can just start uh, chatting with it if you like you can just type your prompt here something like what is happiness and then click on generate and the first time you will do it it is going to download the model as you can see and then it is we can do the inference with it so let's wait for it to get downloaded and there you go we have our response from the model so it has given us the usual very high quality response from the 5.3 model but you can see that how easy it is to not only do the text inference but also you can go with any image model again in the same vein you can simply just click on settings and then from here you can select a model like stable diffusion 1.5 and there are a lot of other models which you can select or as usual you can simply go in and select the model uh, from the hugging face repo and the interesting bit is that it is not just stable diffusion models but you can go with lcm mid journey mini lot of other options are there if you like so i'm just going to go with the stable diffusion um, 1.5 just click on settings and then here you can just give it any prompt of your choice something like um, a cute uh, kangaroo and let's generate the image i'll just scroll down and click on generate and as was expected the first time it is downloading the model and then it is going to give us the result and you can see here at the top that the size of the model is just 1.2 gig so let's wait for it to get finished should not take too long that is done and now it is generating the image and there we have our cute kangaroo so you can see that on the same tool and ui you can generate the text you can generate images you can even do the videos one so for the video one if you click here you just select your video um, model from here and make sure that your model supports it so for example i'm just going to go with this one um, zero score v2 and then you can just say that uh, maybe you know a girl surfing on the waves and then i think that is more than enough let's click on generate let's go up it is going to download the model and then it is going to do the inference so let's wait and the video is generated let me play it and there you go it's a one second video but you can see that you can generate the video with it the girl is surfing on the waves how good is that and similarly you have different options of using different models here animate tape and i already have covered most of them on the channel if you're interested okay and then you can also do the audio with it uh, because i'm using vm my microphone is not attached with that one but you can simply uh, describe your music and then you can generate the music with it how good is that so maybe you can just say something like uh, hip-hop or something like that it's going to generate the music uh, there are different models again you can also generate 3d with it again there are a lot of models so if i click on settings for example for at the moment is used shape e but other than that there are i don't think so there is, there is any other model but of course you can put your uh, hugging face repo id here it is going to download it and then this is image to shape so all in all you can see that is a, it is an all-in-one gui which is really really good stuff the speed is slightly slower than most of the other things but so it is a bit heavy but i think the amount of weight it is lifting i think that is sort of justified so and still it is in dev mode so not fully uh, there and if you click here it will be light mode i guess okay i think it is going to reload it i guess anyway i'll just stay here
So that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about bini you if you like it uh let please share it uh, your comments and i'll drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching